Uh, tell me a little bit about Permian. Um, you know, obviously they've played a solid schedule, had kind of up and down, even some off the field issues, things like that. What kind of team are you facing Friday night? Well, the first thing, I mean, obviously, uh, when you get into this district, we found this out many years ago when we first came in. You know, one, you know, number one, the coaching the mm -hmm. quality, and you see it on the field when you watch film. You see kids doing what they're taught to do. Of course, that's always been permanent. I mean, you know, um, and I know Gary and his staff do a great job, and, and, and that's going to be the case every week in this district. You know, people, you have to beat people. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're not going to misstep and allow you to beat them by mistakes. So, uh, you know, very, very free football team. Uh, you know, another thing jumps out at man, defensively they come at you. I mean, you know, they're going to, Go downhill. Those linebackers are coming in. Uh, they're they're hitting you in the mouth. You know, secondary is very aggressive. They do they do just enough defensively, changing up fronts, doing some things that you, that your kids have to really be disciplined. And so that's going to be a key. Uh, and then you and then you know, offensively, uh, you know, we're all into this shotgun stuff. And here Friday night, I think the key to the game is going to be which team is the most physical. Because let's let's be honest. I know Permian lines up in a shotgun, but it's two back shotgun. Right. I mean, right. the only difference between them and us when we're in our two back set and they're in their two back set is their quarterbacks taking the shotgun snap and ours is under center. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it, it's gonna you know they have a tight end. It's a pro set. Now they they like they're like us. They do some some uh, some double shotgun. They spread the field out and, and you know they operate well out of out of, out of all of that. But, but they want to run the football, and they want to get after you, and that's the Permian way. And, and you know, It's no different than what I've seen the last several years. They do a great job with it, and uh, you know, it will be quite a challenge for a football team. Offensively, do you guys feel like there are some things that you guys see as coaches that you can take advantage of? Well, you, you know, hope so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect uh, you to. But. You know, obviously we're going to have to throw the ball some. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are going to be keys when, when you see the uh, – it doesn't take – you know, I, I used to teach math and it doesn't take a whole lot of, of mathematician type stuff to figure out the difference. Nine in the box and you only got mm -hmm. seven blockers, that doesn't come out very good. Right. So, uh, you know, there's going to be some things we're going have to have to be able to throw the ball successfully. Uh, you know, I think, uh, I think our power running game still needs to be – be good and we need to get Tyler. You, you win games like this uh, by, by you know, running the football. And so those are those are key key uh, key points. Last question. After last year, um, you know, do you feel like your kids and even you, your kids are playing with a chip on their shoulder? Are you coaching with a chip on your shoulder a little bit to prove some doubters this year after missing the playoffs last year? Oh, you know, we were disappointed, but I think our kids have moved on. I, I've been real proud of how they've they've uh, they've handled this year mentally. But uh, I think way back there in the back of their mind, I think you'd have to say there's probably some of that uh, still lingering because there was some disappointment. Uh, you know, I think I think the one thing I would say that our kids have done after last year is we've learned from some of the mistakes of last year. And I think our coaching staff has too. And so I think that's a big thing. Um, you know, we had some team dissension. We had a lot of distractions last year. We had a lot of issues. And so, uh, you know, one thing, our, our leadership has been great this year. Uh, these kids, that, this is really, since I've been in Midland High, this is the first class we've had that's been successful from the seventh grade up. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, we've never had that. Even Baron Batch's class went 10-3 and three, uh, his senior year in 2005. Barron's, Barron's freshman team is three and seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so the thing that we're trying to cultivate right now is that winning attitude that programs like Midland League, Odessa, Permian. I mean, they expect to win. Uh, we're trying to make that shift to, from hoping that you can win mm -hmm. to expecting to win. So, so we'll see where we are.